nervous and also excited. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous and excited for everyone to be out here. Like, y'all could have been anywhere else, but you chose to spend your time with us for a couple hours because it's for, this momentum is for a greater cause at the end of the day. Right? We're all here to fight this oppressive, corrupt system that's built on socioeconomic and racial exploitation. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. That. And 2020 is so, so critical. It's so critical. And that message we're trying to send to the system is that working people will prevail in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. That we all want to get Trump out of office. That's yeah. right. You know, no matter what spectrum of the Democratic Party you're at, we all agree that he is just a terrible human being, a terrible president. However, it should not come at the expense of people who have been traumatized generationally by stop and frisk. That's right. Billionaires are not going to be our saviors when they're continuously making more money year in and year out while working families are losing homes. Millions of people do not have health insurance. Thousands are, are dying because of it. And working families who cannot make a living wage just to make ends meet, there is something fucked up in the system. <laughs> so for me, it's about, yeah, we want to get Trump out of office, but I don't want to go back to things just being normal. Because yeah. normal right. is a revolutionary. That's right. Mm-hmm. I envision, I have a vision for something that's revolutionary. That, and that includes things like having an inclusive Medicare for All system. Woo! Yes! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. For Woo! reproductive health care for women that's and our LGBTQIA plus communities. Because health care is a human right. Yes. We need to not just reform the criminal justice re- uh, the criminal justice system because reforming it is just creating a cycle that we've seen year in and year out. Seeing people keep going inside the prison system year in and year out. I want to break that cycle. Yes. Yeah. I want to demilitarize the police. Okay. I want to decriminalize poverty. Yes. Decriminalize sex work and cash bail. Yes. Legalize marijuana because Woo-hoo. people who've been in prison for that yeah. have been in prison just for being poor. Yeah. yeah. So they should be the first people to benefit off the new industry and have the right to vote at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. That's right. And we take knowledge of that climate change is more than an economic battle, That's right. but it's a moral and racial one. While we have black and brown bodies fighting forever wars yeah. that cost over six trillion dollars, for what? And we found out that these wars are built on lies. That's right. When we can take all this money and put it into our communities, have communities like New York Five be the first to benefit by creating unionized jobs, by making sure that everyone has a home, by making sure that everyone has health care. So it's it's more it's all about more clarity. It's not about what's left or right. This is a bottom up battle. So we need elected officials who will stand with everyday people. And that's what, that's exactly why I'm running. Mm-hmm. And in order for this vision to happen, for this revolution to happen, we need everyday people to come together and challenge those who enable this system, this corrupt system. Gregory <laughs> Meeks' office literally is right here. But no one knows. No one knows who he is. In a district, in a district where the voter turnout is 3%, Something's wrong with the system. Wow. And we can change yeah. that today. Today! Yes. <laughs> so we can challenge those who enable it. He is someone who accepts $2 million per cycle from Wall Street. Wow. And as many have mentioned, he supports the stop and frisk terrorizer Michael Bloomberg for president. Uh-uh. <laughs> so it shows you the how out of touch he is with what everyday people are going through for, for decades. So we need to change that now. And it starts with us, because in order to create a sustainable future for our next generation, we have to come together, mobilize, galvanize, create a community, community, create families, come out, get people out to vote, get people to register to vote, get younger people to be a part of this movement, because this is what it's about at the end of the day, this is for the next generation. Because we can't be doing this forever, we know that. Most of our lives have been built around how white supremacy has shaped our lives. Whether you come from other countries, whether you've been living here through the civil rights era, you've seen firsthand what it's like, what our families have gone through. So it's our time for this revolution to happen. It's our time. And in honor of Black History Month, I want everyone to put up three fingers right now. Yes. Our campaign is built on three principles from Martin Luther King Jr. So I want you to repeat after me. We will fight. We, we, we will, will fight against all wars. Against all wars. We will fight. We will fight against poverty. Against poverty. We will. We will. We will fight. We will fight to uplift workers' rights. To uplift workers' rights. From from now on. From now on. We're done. 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 But from now on. 
from now on, I want to take these. I want you guys to take this, these principles, carry it with you, talk to everyone that you love, everyone that you meet along the way, and tell them that everything that we're fighting for are based on these principles. We're fighting for everything that we ever love. At the end of the day, we're fighting for everything that we ever love. So, in order for this revolution to happen, we need to stop the corruption. And fighting for justice means fighting for justice for right now. And a revolution begins with us. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you again for coming out. I love each and every single one of you. I've, I've, this is one of my friends from high school. I've known him for a while. I have, I'm, so, no, I, I'm, I'm so happy he came out. Like I'm so happy he came out. Uh, I'm so happy he came out. He hit me up a few days ago. He was like, you know, he just heard that was wrong.